Hello, my name is Matt Oswalt, and I'm a core developer on the Stackstorm team. I'm here to tell you about a new feature that I have been working on for the Napalm Pack. Uh, for those that aren't aware, uh, this is the Napalm Pack here, the GitHub page that you can go to to check out all kinds of information about it. Basically, this is a, a pack that uh, uh, a community member mostly, as well as myself, developed um, in order to allow Stackstorm to use all of the various functions uh, inside of the Napalm library, which if you don't know about Napalm, this is a library to do network automation stuff. Um, and so effectively this pack allows us to work with that. Now there's a lot of stuff that Stackstorm uh, can, there's a lot of value that Stackstorm can provide here. And one feature that I wanted to add was the ability to do what I call WSB versus WERI comparisons. Um, and so those are acronyms, what it should be and what it really is. Effectively what, be, what I want to be able to do is ask if a network device of some kind has deviated from what I've declared to be the golden configuration. Um, and, and allow that to be done very easily. Um, so this is integrated with chat ops. So there's a new action that allows that comparison to take place. And then there's an action alias um, that also uh, allows that to be integrated with Slack. So you can actually ask that question via Slack if you want. So first things first, let's look at the repo uh, where the golden config is stored. The idea is that you'll sort of put in a, uh, in, in the pack configuration actually, there's an option to declare this Git repository where you would put all of your um, text files. Now, I've just sort of pushed one here, but the idea, the idea would be that you run these configurations through some sort of code review process, maybe some automated testing, and then they sort of end up here after all of that's done. And so, that, you know, this doesn't, this, this sort of assumes that the configs are, are golden and, and have gone through all those checks. So as you can see, this is just a really, you know, this is a sample VSRX configuration, Juniper VSRX um, firewall. Uh, so basically um, what I want to do is I want to be able to say, hey, I, I want to compare this file with what is actually on the device and then um, provide uh, some feedback depending on, on if it's different. So let's do that. Um, if, you are, if you haven't worked with the Napalm Pack before, uh, all of the usage instructions are here. Um, we'll be sort of glossing over some of the uh, the stuff that's already there. This is specifically focusing on the new feature that I'm that I'm demonstrating here. Let's go over to the terminal. So I have ST2 Vagrant spun up. ST2 Vagrant's a nice VM for us to uh, demo a lot of uh, Stackstorm things. So if you want to do this on your own, uh, just Google Stack, uh, just Google ST2 Vagrant, and uh, the documentation and the GitHub repo should be pretty straightforward. So the first thing I want to do is just show uh, the new action. So SD2 action list, and we'll, we'll narrow it down to the Napalm pack. If you go to the top, you can see there's a new uh, action here, napalm.checkconsistency. And as you can see in the description, it checks that the device's configuration is consistent with the golden config in a Git repository. So uh, let's... Uh, run that. So I've configured the, the pack, so all of the configuration options, again, look at the repo for usage instructions. So this assumes you have a fully configured uh, fully configured pack with all the options that it needs. So we can do uh, st2 run, uh, napalm dot, what did I call it? Consistent, yeah, check consistency. Napalm dot check consistency. And now this particular uh, action only needs one parameter. In fact, let's, let's show that. Um, we can do a hyphen H to see all of the parameters. And so these are all optional parameters, but there is a required parameter host name. Um, and the reason for that is obviously because we want to know what which which device to check. And so that's the only required parameter. The other ones will be automatically retrieved from the configuration. That's pretty standard across the actions in the Napalm pack. So let's do that. So we take that out and we do host name equals, and then I have a host uh, entry for VSRX01, and that should do it. Okay, cool. So we have a, a successful run, um, and we, as we can see, uh, the results of the action tell us that there is no deviation between the golden config, which is in the Git repo that I showed earlier, uh, and the, the configuration that's actually on the device. So that's great. That means that you know, basically, this this is this is a way of checking that our our golden configs have been enforced properly. A very important thing if you're talking about network automation, you want to make sure that there aren't any sort of manual changes going on behind the scenes. So I've actually tabbed over to the router in question, um, this or the the fire, you know, the virtual firewall in question. So this is actually the device that we're checking against. Um, and if we do a show config, we can actually see the configuration that's on the device. So again, this is exactly like the golden config, and we know that because we just ran the check config action, uh, so that we know that. So let's uh, let's make a change, and I'll scroll down to the configuration where you can see what I'm going to change. I'm just going to change the IP address of one of these interfaces, just as an example. So we'll, uh, <laughs> old Cisco habit, die hard. Uh, we'll do a set interfaces, uh, GE00, we'll say three, and unit zero, family, inet, and address 
50, 51, or 50. We'll just say 50 because it's already 51. And in fact, we'll let's get rid of the um, let's get rid of the old one too because that because you can append like two of two addresses on the same interface if you don't do that. So uh, do that. Actually, sorry, I meant to do delete. So delete interface. All right, cool. So we can do a commit now. And just to do a show config here, we can, um, or show, on because we're in config mode. Scroll down, you can see it should be 50-50. Excellent, so that's changed. Um, now, we can rerun this action. And what it should do is it should say deviation equals uh, true. And, it, and it'll actually provide a nice diff for us, kind of like if, you, if you've ever done a git diff in a repository, or even just the, the diff utility. Um, this is very similar output. And so, so deviation equals true. That lets your sort of automated system know if there's a deviation. And then if there is, the diff contents, the actual diff itself, is stored within this resulting string, diff contents. And as you can see, we, we subtracted this line, the dot .51, and we added this line, dot .50. Um, so cool. Uh, let's change it back and try to do the same thing, but uh, from a chat ops perspective, because that's the that's what's going to make this really really cool. Um, and so let's just uh, redo this. Delete fifty and set. Oops, keep forgetting that. Set interfaces. Okay, and commit. So let's re let's run this one more time just to make sure that everything's consistent. Alrighty, so everything's back to the way it should be. Now let's uh, check into Slack. So I have a Slack channel here where a bot that I lovingly call Jarvis is listening for commands. The command um, is uh, napalm check consistency on the SRX01. Jarvis is on it, sends us our execution ID, should respond pretty quickly. And it, as you can see, it says the configuration on VSRX01 exactly matches the golden configuration. Real easy. So let's replicate the thing, uh, the, the, the change that we made earlier. And we'll set 50 and we'll delete 51. Commit. And we'll go to Slack once more, run the same ch uh, consistency check. Execution ID returns right away. And there we go. Now we see that actually, in a, in a, and again, in a human readable message, this is the cool thing about chat ops, um, the configuration of VSRX01 has deviated from the golden configuration in diff to follow. So you can see plainly, without leaving Slack, exactly what's different on the device. So this is really cool. Um, there's there Now, this is just a really simple demo. There's a lot of stuff that could be built on top of this, and these are all things that we're sort of considering right now. Um, but this is a very um, you know basic feature that uh, I think is really, really powerful to a network engineer's workflow. So if you have any questions, uh, again, uh, go to the GitHub page. Uh, in fact, you can go to any of any of the, uh, the, the repos uh, under Stackstorm. This one's under Stackstorm Exchange. So the, the address is here, github.com slash stackstorm hyphen exchange forward slash stackstorm hyphen napalm. Um, and of course, if you want to, you can just simply go to stackstorm.com. And there are links to uh, community and things like that. So if you click on community, you can see there's a lot of links here. Uh, the Slack community is super popular. A lot of people in there that um, have been using Stackstorm for a long time. Um, definitely check that out if you need any help uh, getting started with Stackstorm or with any of the packs. Thanks for watching.